What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. We have, as you can tell, no boat. We had disaster strike the channel again. And um, at this point, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I hit something on the lake here a while back and had to be towed in and took it straight to the mechanic. And I'm not sure the diagnosis yet. So that's gonna be, uh, we'll see what happens. But until then, I went and picked up my kayak and I have been rigging this thing out. It is a wreck right now. My whole shop's a wreck. I went, I got a refrigerator and a TV. So got all that hung. We've had a lot going on here lately and I haven't been recording any of it. We don't have anything that's for the channel as far as content. So I mean, I could have videoed hanging a TV up for you guys, but I don't really see anyone wanting to watch that. Or I could have, I guess, done like a lot of YouTubers and just vlogged me bringing a refrigerator out here to my shop, but I didn't figure anyone would want to see that. Um, I've been without a boat now for um, a month. So that's why we have no videos that's been coming out. I went to the spring game. I did put a little video out on that. It did pretty good, got a few views, but I figured it would just because of the spring game. And I've been laying wood floors in my house and that's what I'm gonna be doing all this weekend. So instead of taking this out, I rented a um, tile remover and I bought about 1800 square foot of wood floor, vinyl, complete vinyl wood flooring. And we're gonna install that in the house. So until I get my boat back, that's what we're gonna be doing. We're just doing honeydews until then. So we can at least get caught up on that before we get back to fishing. But I've been laying some wood floors. I'll show you a picture right here. This is my bedroom. My, do my daughter had a little incident where she uh, got sick one night and threw up on my floor and I couldn't get it out. So that was the whole point of us switching over to wood, the vinyl wood flooring because I couldn't get it out of the, I could not get it out of the carpet. I mean, I had a carpet cleaner, all kinds of stuff. I finally just said, heck with it, tore the carpet out, went and bought a whole bunch of this nice wood flooring and uh, installed it. Haven't been videoing any of it because there's other videos on YouTube. I'm sure that this is an outdoor channel. No one wants to watch me put wood floors in. And so, I haven't videoed that. One thing I did do was video my landscaping. <clears throat> and I just now remembered I videoed that. I need to edit that. So um, we did redid our flower beds and all that good stuff. So enough of me rambling. I think the point of this video is just to tell y'all why I'm missing. But I also want to show y'all what I've done while I've been missing. And I can do a more extensive video on this if y'all want to see it. But got my kayak and I have been rigging it up and let me tell you it's uh it's almost there I, I, I just I just like finishing now and I'll show y'all what I've done okay so don't mind my tackle box my neighbors were fishing I've been getting all this crap out and was letting them have some stuff to try I gave them some snacky lures which stinks because I just picked up a bunch a snacky lures and I can't I haven't even been on the water since I got them and it sucks but I bought this here flambeau box and ran all my wires into here and my live scopes in there and I've got two Dewalt drill batteries in there that hook up and basically it's running through here I've drilled another hole. Here's my um, live scope. I just, this is an old like rod. I cut a 45 and I soldered it and it's on a ram mount. And I ended up having to replace this track because the plastic track wasn't holding. So we're gonna go, have to go see how this holds up. So we got a trolling motor and I've ran tubing all the way up through there and cut some brass fittings and stuck in here so the, the cables don't eat this. 
I got this idea off of Kevin Bullington, I think is his channel. I don't know, the guys went MIA and he doesn't even do YouTube anymore. I had I seen him post a video and I don't know when, but I love this kayak rig. I'm hoping the guy's okay. So if anybody's that kayak fishes, watches or has seen Kevin Bullington, please let me know somewhere in the description that that dude is okay and you all you all know the guy and he just quit YouTube because I I hope that's the case because I really liked his uh, videos and stuff. So I'll link his channel down here and um, you guys can go check him out. He doesn't YouTube anymore, <laughs> but he does have some good stuff on there. His, his setup's even better than this one. He's got a Minn Kota trolling motor. I have a cheap water snake trolling motor that I had just laying around here, but let's get back to it. So like I said, this came from Kevin Bullington's channel. Uh, of course, I gotta move this up. It's on a slip ring. Um, these right here hooked to it. I did the other side. The problem is, is these clip on and I wasn't thinking and I put these little, these deals on and that wire needed to be on here because whenever I turned, these this is hitting a whole lot sooner than it would hit if it was on just down here. And so when I was turning, it was only it's only turning that much and I need it to turn like that much at least. So I ran these cables up through here, but first okay, I ran power in down through here. I'm gonna get something to put over this. I'm gonna paint all this. Um, of course, I put a plug in and then down here, this is a reverse polarity switch. And I put it on this block and I mounted it up. And my battery, which is right there, fits perfect in here. So I'll hook it up. The battery will go to this and it has a remote control, which is reverse polarity. I wear this around my neck, go forward or backwards. So once I do that, I've got these ran down through there. I got to cut this one back. I got to pull that brass fitting out and move it back, but I've got to redo these anyway. I've got these hooked to this. I'm going to mount this up to the side here and then the wire will just come up through here and these foot pedals will turn it right and left. So that's where this is running out this side. And then the other one's running out this side, which is this tubing here. But yeah, that has been my kayak rig. I'm gonna finish this up and we are going to get everything cleaned up and we'll do it. We'll do a better video on it. Uh, I did go fishing one time on the kayak before I did all this to it. I installed the live scope on it and went to the pump back, which is a super deep lake. They're constantly pumping water up and down and it was tough. I ended up catching one sand bass, I think. Big old sand bass. And I got some footage of that. You'll see how windy it is in the video, I think. But that's all I got for now. So I'm gonna let y'all roll into this footage of me at the pump back. I don't know what all I got. It's not really a whole lot. Um, I think all I caught was a bass and a sand bass, but I don't even know if I got the bass on film. But you guys check it out. What's going on everybody? And welcome back today for another adventure here at Pure Living for Outdoors. So we're doing something just a little bit different today. Something that I have uh, never done, but been wanting to do. And uh, all right, so we got something going on today that I don't normally do. Well, I don't normally do, I, I never do it. But anyways, we uh, I've been wanting to do this and I finally, I just did it. So I got, check this out. Boom, I got a Jackson big rig kayak it's a fishing kayak and i installed my garmin live scope in it and uh we'll go over all that later um this is the first maiden voyage and we're gonna go test it out it's really windy so we'll see how it goes i know that i don't know this lake we're on the pump back and I've never fished it and it's a right as a, a lake that they raise and lower the water level a lot Known really well for smallmouth, but we're going for crappie. I do know That I want to go out here on this main part and I need to go left and then around that backside and try to get over there out of the wind 
but we have live scope so surely we can find something if there's any fish in here we can surely find them with the live scope i don't know about on this trip or not but it might take a couple but we will get there one of these days really soon i'm planning on putting a trolling motor back here and i think a group 24 battery will fit in here and i'm gonna put it on a remote switch to turn it on and off and we'll basically just use it to get to where we're going back and forth but save me some paddling but let's get after it i ain't got a whole lot of time and uh, i want to go try this out so i'm gonna back up down here we're gonna put this boat in the water and uh have some fun you guys stay tuned hopefully we get something done here on the kayak and we're off way to make these paddles longer. Huh. Not this one. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. I tell the hardest part about this is going to be it's hard to row with that there. That's why everybody has it low, I guess. All right, we're going to go over here. So I'm going to turn this camera off until we get to where we're going. I don't know what we hooked got something though first fish on the pump back big old sand bass Sucker's fat. Look at that. There gum. Look at that. <laughs> that's not what we're after, but that's cool. Let's let it go. There he goes. <laughs> Let's take this thing. I just had that thing down. There's a bunch of them out here. It's a whole school. Right there. I just set it at that depth earlier. <laughs> I just had it sitting down here like this. Actually, I know we had one. Let's go over there out of the wind. Let's see what we can get over there. Oh, we've drifted a long ways. So I've noticed some issues. For one, this paddle's too short for me. I need a longer paddle. There's a spoonbill. No, there was even spoonbill in here. We gotta get over there out of the wind. That 
bank over there. We gotta get that trolling motor hooked up. Make this much easier. Well, we're still out here. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't found a fish one, hardly. A lot of sand bass. I caught a bass a minute ago, but it got off right at the top of the water. I didn't get it on camera. Looks like we got something here coming up. The hard part is staying on them. The wind kind of blows us around and they're so deep, it's hard to get down to them. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the probably short little clip. I don't even know what I got, um, but I hope you enjoyed it. And we are going to end this video here. If you guys want to see a better setup when I get this all cleaned up, like right now, it doesn't even look good. I'll show you guys the batteries that I got to run this thing off of. I think one of them's over here. So I bought one of these cheap nine amp hour batteries for it. And so... It was like 60 bucks. It's a Dewalt uh, cheap knockoff. So when I took it to the lake, um, I went for about four hours and it only drained it like 20%. So I could probably get a good nine amp hour out of it. And that one's just hooked to the uh, live scope. I've got a five amp hour that runs the um, nine inch screen here. So. Plenty of battery. I got an extra battery, so if I need it, I can plug it in, but I'm probably gonna end up ordering another nine amp hour battery and just go with that. I'll have two nine amp hour batteries and then I should be good. But maybe later on down the road, we'll get a lithium. Hopefully I get my boat back within, <clears throat> I don't see it anytime in the, I don't see it anytime in the near future. I've got, it's, it's Jack this time. It's, it's not good. Um, I, I don't really know a whole lot about it. I've talked. But that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. Like I said, if you guys want to see me in the kayak, it's coming because this is going to be our means of uh, transportation. The fish are just now getting on the bank, so this is going to help out. I've got some creeks that I'm wanting to go to. If y'all are interested in seeing me lay the wood floors in my house, I can make a video on that, but you guys better start commenting now because I'm starting on that this week. So let me know down there if you guys want to see how to lay um vinyl wood flooring so it's really easy um, you can do it without any special tools but i mean i've got i've got the tools that i got the high tech tools so we'll be using my table saw and we'll be using my jigsaw and we'll be using my crosscut saw so you don't need all that though you don't need all that all razor blade will do it but it makes a lot cleaner cut a lot straighter cut if you do it with the table saw and the um, miter saw. But yep, that's all I got for you guys. And until next time. Gotta go. We gotta get to clean the shop. I gotta get it reorganized. I've been moving stuff around and pulling stuff out and I've been hanging stuff up on the wall. So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys have a good one and don't forget don't forget, please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the video, do whatever you got to do. But you guys have a great day. And until next time, we'll see you on the next video.